What's up guys, Ren Razor here with another tech video for guys today and in this video just uh, downloaded uh, this recently Apple released the Mac App Store and uh, if you're all familiar with the iPod Touch and I, uh, iPhones um, the App Store there well uh, Apple released finally released one for their uh, MacBooks which is definitely a great idea but um, anyways to get this um, application of course all you have to do is uh, you don't actually download it off the website or anything this is just the overview and stuff you just go to the uh, Apple logo on the corner here and then you go software update, it will update your computer, it will restart, and then after that you go to your applications folder, whoops, and then you see the app store here, so if you click that, you got you now have the uh, Mac App Store. But anyways, this is definitely a very, very innovative and great idea for Apple uh, to move their App Store also to the uh, Mac um, environment, uh, just because um, one of the things I hated about um, downloading stuff is you always have to google it you know find the website for it and download it from there uh, with the Mac App Store here uh, great thing about this everything that you can download from the Mac is you know a lot more available obviously right now it's not too too many stuff I think this is like thousand apps or something like that so it's not like a lot well technically that is a lot but uh, not too much but uh, eventually that will grow and um, you know it'll just be all in one place which is really nice um, when I had when I was using Windows I grew up with, grew up with Windows and everything uh, you had to Google everything you know um, trying to find their website and download it from there uh, with this you just it, it's all in one place that's one of my favorite things about it but um anyways you do have to have an iTunes account to download all this stuff. Um, there's some things that are free, but all pretty much all the good stuff are, uh, um, you know, you have to buy. For example, like uh, Angry Birds is on here. It's for five bucks. Obviously, it's a bit more expensive than one on the iPods and iPod Touch or iPod Touch and iPhones. Um, all, 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 uh, all Apple stuff. Um, such as pages, you know, iWorks, iPhoto, all that, that's also available on the Mac App Store, so you can download it directly from there. So chances are, you know, Apple might start releasing, like, C the actual, like, CD and stuff to download, like, this kind of stuff, uh, if that made any sense. But, you know, all that stuff is available as well, lots of games, lot of utilities. I did uh, download a few of them. Uh, downloaded uh, Mind Node, which is, uh, like, a mind map kind of thing. I've actually been looking for this for a while now to find some kind of mind mapping program. And so all you do is, like, you type in something. Thing. So we'll just call it, uh, I don't know, we'll call it that. Then you want to add it, you know, it just it's like a mind map kind of thing, which is kind of cool because I've been looking for something like this. And you just want to add more, you just click add. It's really simple, very, very easy, and it's free. So it's definitely something cool if you want to plan out something like, uh, I don't plan out what you want to go through for university, which I might want to do. And or, you know, for classes like biology or something, if you want to, uh, you know, spread out definition, something like that. But anyways, that's the uh, one program no, I don't want to save. And when you do download them, they do pop up in your dock here, but if you don't want to fill up your dock with a lot of stuff, uh, you can just drag it, the shortcut to the trash bin, and the actual application would just be in your uh, applications, applications uh, folder. And of course, if you download a lot of it, you can definitely make some folders and kind of organize everything, so that's also an option. But um, let's see what else I did. I did download one game. It's called Action Potato. It was free, and honestly, it's not gonna be that exciting. But um, this game, you can adjust the window size. Um, I'm pretty sure I seen um, YouTube user the units download uh, Angry Birds, and he had it full screen, I think. So you can full screen some games. So here's a quick example. You just hit start game, and it's kind of like the ones on the iPod Touch, an iPhone. It's uh, fairly easy, fairly simple. So you know. It's actually not really that exciting. So, yeah, I'm probably going to delete this game. But I just wanted to download some sort of game to give you guys an example. I did download another thing called Whiteboard for Mac, which I haven't actually opened yet. So, it's kind of like, pretty much like a whiteboard. Which is kind of cool. But, uh, yeah, it's probably not very useful. But, uh, let's see. We'll just go... Yeah, I don't want to save it. Um, what else? So, you also have Top Paid, um, Top Free, and Top Grossing, just like the stuff on the... Uh, iPod touches and iPhotos, or not iPhoto, iPhones, and um, but yeah, guys, it's definitely a very, very great idea and great move from Apple to uh, create a Mac App Store. All your applications will be available in one spot rather than you know googling it and all that. And of course, it'll be when you download them, it's all available on here. And like I mentioned, you do have to have the iTunes account. So I'm just gonna try and sign, find something that's free. Okay, let's download Twitter. And uh, we'll see how this works. So here it is. This is Twitter. When you click on the application, it shows you, you know, the reviews and stuff like that. Pretty similar. Some uh, photos of what it looks like. And we hit free. You just click on it. And it'll automatically download. Ask your iTunes a password, which obviously I don't want to show you guys. Oops. We'll just do it this way. That's wrong. Do, 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 do. You click sign in. And for some reason, I typed in the wrong password. 
There we go. And then uh, it says installing. And it'll go down right to your dock and it'll say installed. And that's it. Like, there's no pop up window. You don't have to go through some, you know, uh, installation process. Once you install it, it's installed. And you hit the uh, application. And here's Twitter, guys. And I don't have Twitter, so uh, I might sign it up. You know, might make an account for it. But I don't have Twitter, so. But that's pretty much that easy. It's, you know, nothing too complicated. You just uh, hit the. Um, install button here and install it and, you know no pop-up windows or anything no uh, installation process and um, but yeah guys that's uh, pretty much it and uh, once you're done you can uh, hit you know backspace you can also go to feature which I'm pretty sure we're at right now um, there's top charts categories and purchases you already made updates for applications so everything all apps are up to date so it's fairly pr fairly similar to the uh, app store on the iPods iPod touch and uh, iPhones but um, anyways yeah that's pretty much it for this video I just want to give you guys a little glimpse of the uh, new app Mac app store which is like I already mentioned probably quite a few times is definitely a very great move from Apple um, a lot of people complain that you know Apple's uh, Mac uh, OS is you know closed environment I actually like that uh, just because you don't have a lot of you don't have a lot of like junk on your computer or in the you know the Mac environment so it's definitely a better sense of security and um, like I moved I, well, I actually moved but um, I got a laptop to get the MacBook and see what's all the hype about it's a very nice operating system very nice laptop I'm not deking Windows or anything I grew up with it so I'm very used to you know all the bullshit that Windows offers but all the all the good things that Windows offers as well but uh, yeah guys um, that is pretty much it and uh, if you have a Mac or MacBook or um, something with i or not iOS, uh, the Mac um, Leopard OS X. Uh, you can definitely uh, update that, and uh, like I mentioned, you just hit uh, go to the Apple logo, software update, let the computer uh, update itself, and restart, restart and everything. Go to the Applications folder, and it'll be right there called the App Store. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.